everyone. Welcome back to our online classroom. This is Math Talk. Today, I will discuss to you all about SET. So, what is SET? SET is a collection or group of well-defined objects. These objects are called elements or members of the SET. Elements is the objects in a SET. It is definitely common for us to use the concept of sets in everyday experience. Examples, set of books, set of toys, set of flowers. Kahit iba-iba sila ng klase ng flowers or toys or books, but we call them a set of something, a set of flowers, a set of books, or a set of toys. At yung nasa loob na yon, example dito, gumamela, uh, rose, at iba pa, that is what we call the elements of the set. How about in mathematics? In mathematics, we have discussed some of the following. A set of whole numbers, yung elements niya, 0, 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth. A set of points, maybe in a Cartesian plane, so 0, 1, 2, and 3, negative 3, and 5. So a set of integers, positive and negative, a set of solutions for an equation. Now, we discussed earlier about the definition of a set. So, we said that it is a well-defined. So, in mathematics, a well-defined set clearly indicates what is a member of the set and what is not. For example, a set that is identified as the set of even whole numbers between 1 and 11. So, this is a well-defined set because it is a uh, it is possible to identify the exact members of the set. So that are 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. So there is only one possible solution set that fits this description. On the other hand, the set of lucky numbers is not well defined because it is open to interpretation. It is not clear from the description what lucky means whose lucky numbers will be considered and what has to happen for a number to be considered lucky. So, there are any number of possible solution sets. So, now, let's try to answer these four questions. Direction, determine if the following statements are well-defined or not. For letter A, the set of all large numbers. So, the answer for that is... The set is not well defined because people will have different opinions on which numbers are large. For letter B, the set of all multiples of 5. The answer for that is the set is well defined. Well defined. Numbers that are multiples of 5 can easily be differentiated from the others. Letter C, the set of good politicians. So the answer is the set is not well defined. Some people may include different politician in the set. Letter D, the set of honest students in your class. The answer for that is not well defined because there is no common agreement as to what is meant by honest students. Next, let's proceed to describing a set. So, in describing a set, we use capital letters to represent the set and lowercase letters to represent the element or members of the set. So, for example, set A or A is a set and A is an, is an element or members of the set A. Now, we, uh, when we say an element A in a set A, we use the symbol, yung parang E dyan, yan, to show it. And if something is not in a set, use parang crush out lang na E. Yan. Example, sa ilalim. Set A is the elements or 1, 2, and 3. We can see that 1 is an element of A, but 5 is not an element of A. So, yun lang yung different, uh, difference nila. Now, there is fairly simple notation for sets. We simply list each element or member separated by a comma and then put some 
curly brackets around the whole thing. So, ito yung example niya kanina. Yung nasa loob is what we call the elements or members of the set. Uh, and meron siya dapat braces or brackets. Yan. So, yung element natin is yung 3, 6, and 91. Yung tatong tuldok na yan or 3 dots means goes on forever or infinite. Another term na ginagamit dyan is ellipsis. Ayan. So, what is cardinal number? Cardinal number of a set A denoted by N of A is the, is the number of elements in the set. Thus, in set A, the elements are A, E, I, O, U. So, N of A or the cardinality number is 5. Because set A contains 5 elements. Another example, set B, we have these elements A, E. So, 2 is the cardinal number. For set C, wala. So, okay, what, that is what we call empty set or null set. Yan. Pag walang laman, that is what we call empty set or null set. Magkaiba sila ng 0. Yan. Finite versus infinite set. Anong pagkakaiba nito? The word finite itself describes that, is it, that it is countable and the word infinite means it is not finite or uncountable. Examples of finite sets. Set P, we have these elements from 0 to 99. So, that is finite set kasi alam na natin kung saan lang siya nagumpisa at mag end so, a set of all English alphabets. So, because it is countable. So, kaya, finite set siya. A set of months in a year. So, finite set pa rin yun siya. Ang infinite set naman, a set of whole numbers. So, hindi natin alam kung saan siya matapos. Meron siyang ellipsis. Marami kasing mga whole numbers. Next, a set of all points on a line. We all know that line is uh, consists of many points. Next is the set of all integers. Marami yung integers. Kaya, infinite set. Yan. Pero kung sinabi niya the set of, of all in, uh, of integers from 1 to 10, so that is finite set. Kasi alam mo yung integers na from 1 to 10. Yan. Magiging finite set siya. Next, Ano naman ang pagkakaiba ng equal set tsaka equivalent set? So, two sets that contain exactly the same elements. Kailangan lang lahat sila magkapareha regardless kung sino yung, nagkas, uh, kung, uh, sino yung nauna or sino yung nahuli sa elements na yun. For example, sa set A. Sa set A, meron tayong elements na A, E, I, O, U. And for set B, we have E, O, I, U, A. So, regardless kung sino yung nauna, kahit nakascramble yan sila, basta magkapareha sila ng set or ng elements that is considered as an equal set. So, then we can say that A is an equal set of B. These two sets contain exactly the same elements and therefore are equal. For equivalent set naman, two sets that contain exactly the same number of elements are called equivalent sets. If we are given the set A, the elements are 1, 2, 3, and 4. And for set B, we have the elements M, A, T, H. We say that set A is equivalent to set B. We use the symbol na parang S na dalaw na pabaliktad. Both set contains four elements. Hence, they are equivalent. Ang pagkakaiba lang nila dito, ang equal set, kahit nakascramble yan siya, as long as dapat Lahat na nandoon sa set A, nandoon din sa set B. Walang labis, walang kulang, kumbaga. So, that is equal set. Ang equivalent set, ang kailangan nyo ng masatisfy is the number of elements. Dapat yung set A, magkapareha ng L, uh, number of elements sa set B. Ngayon, ang tanong ko, yung equal set na binigay na example na e, A, E, I, O, U, and yung sa set B, consider ba natin as an equivalent set? The answer for that is yes. Pero yung example na nasa equivalent set na 1, 2, 3, 4 and M, A, T, H the, uh, equal set ba yan? Hindi. So, yun yung pagkakaiba nilang dalawa. So, let's try. Direction. 
determine if the following given sets are equal or equivalent sets or both. Are the following sets are equal? So, number one is, yes, set A and set B are equal. So, magkapareha kasi sila kahit ang baliktad lang. And at the same time, kwan din sila, equivalent set. For number two, set C and D are not equal set but are equivalent set. Magkapareha kasi sila ng number of elements. Pero, hindi sila magkapareha ng elements na nasa loob talaga. Kaya hindi sila equal sets. Ang number 3 naman is, hindi sila equivalent set, hindi din sila equal set. Kasi, magkaiba sila ng elements na sa kabila, tapos, yung sa kabila naman is, may elapsis. Ibig sabihin, walang katapusan. Ibig sabihin, may kadugtong pa siya. Which is, yung isa, finite set, yung sa set E and set F is infinite set. Kaya hindi siya pwedeng maging uh, equivalent set at the same time, equal set. Now, what is subset and proper subset? Ano ba yung pagkakaiba ng subset at proper subset? I will go to the general idea lang ng subset. Ang subset is parang naglilisting method ka lang. For example, itong let u, the elements are 1, 2, and 3. So, the subsets of u are magsastart siya sa um, null set. Kasi sabi sa definition dito, null set is considered a subset of every set. Kaya dito may magsastart parati yan siya sa empty set or null set. At the same time, dapat merong brack or braces or bracket na nakalagay dyan and separated by a comma yung mga elements. Okay, less, parang listing method, 1, sunod 2, sunod 3, and then partner na dalawa-dalawa, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. Kasali yung elements na nandoon sa set na yun, lahat sila. So, para malaman natin, if ilan yung ilalagay natin ng mga subset doon sa set na yun, meron tayong formula na 2 raised to n, so, ang n that represent kung ilang elements na nandoon sa loob na yun. So, tatlo. ba So, cardinality, yun yung idea kanina. So, 2 raised to 3 kasi tatlo, that is a. Kung bibilangin natin ito, walo. So, tama. So, kung lima naman, 2 raised to 5, that is 32 subset. Yeah. Next is proper subset. Ang proper subset, ang pagkakaiba lang nila nito para mas mapadali sa inyo is parang binawasan lang siya ng elements na nandoon sa loob niya. Example ito, 1, 2, and 3, hindi nakasali dito. Ang kasali lang dito is yung mag-uumpisa sa null set hanggang sa 2, 3. Hindi nakasali yung buong elements niya doon. So, that is the idea ng subset and proper subset. Now, let's try to answer this one. So, i-stop nyo yung video, then try nyo sagutan kasi may mga answer key doon sa pinakadulo natin. Next, ito. Letter C. And, letter D. Ito yung sasagutan ninyo. And, ito yung sagot natin. I-stop nyo muna para at least ma-challenge kayo kung naintindihan nyo talaga yung dinaskas natin. So, this will be the answers. Ayan. So, I hope na marami kayong natutunan. God bless everyone.